Hey guys, Eric Bach here with a quick tutorial on why you should include the lunge movement pattern into your training. So for starters, when most people look at their typical lower body training, we're looking primarily at a hinge movement like a deadlift and a squat pattern like your typical barbell squat. Now, these are great movements, but what often gets neglected is the lateral subsystem and left to right imbalances. So when we include a lunge movement pattern, we are able to more efficiently hit the adductors, abductors, and the, and the muscles in the lateral subsystem around the hip and in the trunk to provide a more balanced training approach. This is gonna help you build total body muscle and high performance strength. So for starters, we're gonna look at the split squat. This is where I normally start clients because it takes out um, really a dynamic movement portion of a lunge and lets them stabilize fully through the foot, knee, ankle, and hip before adding in a dynamic movement. So a split squat is just a stationary lunge. So straight on, feet are about shoulder width apart, but spread lengthwise, dropping the knee down, getting good solid bend, and extend from the side, keeping a fairly vertical shin, dropping the knee down, and extend. One big benefit of these is we can increase the metabolic stress without the dynamic movement, meaning we can hold that position a little bit better and increase metabolic stress to build a little bit more muscle. Moving on, we will move from a split squat to a typical front lunge. A typical front lunge does incorporate a deceleration mechanic as well as having an increased tibial inclination, which is gonna put a little bit more shear stress on the knee, but also help build the quadricep. So a step forward, step back, step forward, step back. From the side, I'll show you what I mean with tibial inclination. Step forward, as you can see, this knee tracks forward over the toe a little bit more. It does fire up the quad, but it does put a little bit more stress on the knee. Still a great exercise, but if you find it problematic for the knee, what we will do is switch you to a step back or reverse lunge. So here, I will step back, drop the hips, and as you see here, we have a vertical tibia. This is gonna help me load up the hamstring, load up the glute, it'll have a little bit less stress on the quad, will be a more friendly lunge variation. So going forward, I would include all three of these variations of the lunge movement into your training. It's gonna help you build high performance muscle and help you build in some basic deceleration and single leg mechanics